Hi there, I'm Steve, and I wanted to give you just a brief tutorial on DMX and DMX programming. Uh, when you're new to DMX, there's a lot of terms, uh, scenes, chases, uh, DMX address, starting addresses, fixtures, a lot of things that don't make sense or they seem confusing, but it's really pretty simple. So I just want to give you the basics. This is a DMX controller. It's a Chevet Obey 40. And this is just a standard uh, 3x36 RGB lamp. So basically the way that DMX talks, uh, controller talks to the light, is through a cable that looks just like a standard uh, microphone XLR cable. So um, what you do is you just plug the cable into the controller and then the controller plugs into the light and the light has an input and an output. So we plug it into the input. The output is so you can daisy chain multiple lights together, which we'll talk about in a minute. So once you have it plugged in, you have to make sure that the DMX channel is set on the light uh, to be the same channel that the controller is sending on. So here you can increase and decrease on the light. So we're going to set this to DMX channel 1, like that. And the way that this Obey 40 uh, controller works is uh, fixture 1 always sends on DMX channel 1, starts on DMX channel 1. This is a 6 channel lamp, so our uh, 6 channel fixture I should say. So the six channels are going to be starting with one. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Very easy. So once we're set up and we uh, are on channel one, this controls the six channels of the light. So channel one is the red, channel two is green, channel three is blue. And the last three channels uh, control different functions like strobing, but um, we're just going to talk about the first three for uh, setting a scene. So if we decide that we want this particular light to be set just to a red look, then we put it to red and we hit add and then we program scene one. And now scene one is programmed as red. I can turn it off. I can turn it back on. Every time I hit scene one, that scene is going to be red. Now. I can go, I can program another look, so I'm going to make this green, we'll make scene 2 green, and we're going to hit add scene 2, and now once that's done, scene 1 is going to be red, scene 2 is going to be green. This is how you program scenes. Um, this is a very simple scene, obviously because it's one light, um, but we're going to add a second light and uh, it'll make a little more sense. On the Chauvet controller you can uh, control up to 12 fixtures, but we're going to add a second fixture. So here's the second fixture. Now like I said, you can uh, daisy chain these together. So we take the output of the first light and we plug that into the input of the second light. Now, the way the controller is set up is fixture two starting address is DMX channel 17. It has fixed starting addresses for each of the 12 fixtures it controls. So that means this is a six channel lamp like this one. So it's gonna control on 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, those channels. That's just the way uh, it works. So. The way that, now we're going to uh, program a more complicated scene with two lights. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to go to fixture one, which is this lamp, and we're going to program it to be red. And then we'll go to fixture two, and on fixture two, we'll make it green. So I'm going to go back. We're going to make fixture one red. And then we're going to turn off fixture one. We're going to turn on fixture two. On fixture two, we're going to make it green. But we could make it blue or 
we could make it red. We can make it any color we want because now we're controlling fixture two. But we'll make it uh, green. Now we're going to save that. We'll now save this as scene one because now we got two lights. So we're going to see. So we'll save that as scene one. So now we can turn off scene one. Every time we turn on scene one, it's going to be the red and the green. That's scene one. So now let's program a second scene with two lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to fixture one. This time we'll make fixture one. We're going to turn off. Turn on fixture one. We're going to make fixture one blue, and we will turn off fixture one. Uh, we'll turn on fixture two, and we'll make that red. So this is going to be our second scene, and we're going to add that to scene two. So now we go back. There's our scene one that we programmed, and there's scene two that we programmed. So now we've got two scenes. Let's program just one more scene and then we're going to program a chase. Uh, basically a chase is just a sequence of scenes. So we're going to go back, we're going to turn on fixture one, we'll make fixture one this time a combination of, uh, of green and blue, kind of an aqua, it's hard to see on the video, but uh, we'll make that fixture one and then we'll make fixture two. Um, green, I guess. Okay, and then we're going to call that, we're going to add that, and we're going to call that scene three. So now we've got, there's scene one, scene two, and scene three. So now we have three distinctly different scenes, and now we're going to uh, program a chase. So there's scene one, there's scene two, and there's scene three. So to program a chase, we can program any scene in any order, but the chase is going to play the scenes in sequence. So if we pick scene one, and first of all, we're going to pick chase one. We're going to select chase one, and then we're going to select scene one, and we're going to add it to that chase with this uh, add button. And then uh, we're going to go to the next, we'll go out of order, so we'll go scene one, then scene three, then scene two. So now we're going to go to scene three, and we're going to add it. Uh, then we will go to scene two, and we will add that. So now, to play back the chase, uh, on this unit we have to come out of programming mode. So when we do that, we're now out of the program mode. And when we hit chase one and come out of blackout, um, now we're gonna, it's going to sequence through those scenes that we uh, programmed. And you can control the speed that it uh, goes through the scenes and the fade time. So if we put the speed up high, and the fade time low, you can see it go rapidly through the chase, um, and we can, tr can control different variations of that uh, with the speed and with the fade time. So that's a really, really basic, basic uh, tutorial on DMX. Fixtures are lights or anything that's controlled by a DMX controller. We can daisy chain them together. Whatever you set the starting address at, is what the controller controls. We've learned how to program a scene, which is basically just set colors or a set look. And then we've learned to program a chase, which is a sequence of scenes that goes in order and you can program the speed and fade time between those scenes.